Welcome to Terminology in Healthcare and Public Health Settings, Ears, Nose, Throat, Eyes, and Vision. This is Lecture B, Eyes and Vision. A medical doctor who specializes in eyes and vision is an ophthalmologist. An optometrist also treats eye problems. The objectives for this unit, ears, nose, throat, eyes, and vision, are to define, understand, and correctly pronounce medical terms related to the ears, nose, and throat, and eyes and vision. Describe common diseases and conditions with an overview of various treatments related to the ears, nose, and throat, and eyes and vision. Here is a brief overview of the anatomy of the eye. The sclera is the tough white outer covering of the eyeball. The cornea is clear and has a curved surface that allows light to enter the eye. The iris is the colored part of the eye that shrinks and expands so the pupil can adjust to the incoming light. The lens is the clear part of the eye behind the iris. It helps to focus the light onto the retina. The retina contains the light-sensitive receptor cells that carry images to the brain through the optic nerve. The optic nerve is a bundle of more than one million nerve fibers that carry visual messages from the retina to the brain. There are numerous disorders and diseases of the eye. Perhaps the most common is a cataract. A cataract is a clouding of the lens in your eye that affects your vision. Cataracts are very common in older people. Common symptoms are blurry vision, colors that seem faded, glare, not being able to see well at night, double vision, and needing frequent prescription changes in your eyewear. Treatments include new glasses, brighter lighting, magnifying lenses, as well as surgery. In cataract surgery, the cloudy lens is removed and replaced with an artificial lens. Color blindness is another eye disorder. There are three main kinds of color vision defects. Red-green color vision defects are the most common. This type occurs in men more than in women. The other major types are blue-yellow color vision defects and a complete absence of color vision. Most color blindness is genetic and there is no treatment. Diabetic retinopathy occurs when diabetes damages the tiny blood vessels inside your retina. Symptoms include blurry or double vision, rings, flashing lights or blank spots, dark or floating spots, pain or pressure in one or both eyes, and problems with peripheral vision. Treatment often includes laser treatment or surgery. Glaucoma is the leading cause of blindness in the U.S. It usually occurs when the fluid pressure inside the eyes slowly rises, damaging the optic nerve. Often, there are no symptoms at first, but a comprehensive eye exam can detect it. People at risk include African Americans over age 40, other people over age 60, especially Mexican Americans, and people with a family history of glaucoma. Treatment for glaucoma includes prescription eye drops and or surgery.
Your eyes can also get infections from bacteria, fungi, or viruses. Eye infections can occur in different parts of the eye and can affect just one eye or both. Two common infections are conjunctivitis and styes. Conjunctivitis is also known as pink eye. The causes of conjunctivitis include bacterial or viral infection, allergies, and substances that cause irritation, such as contact lens products or eye drops. A sty is a bump on the eyelid that happens when bacteria from your skin gets into the hair follicle of an eyelash. Symptoms of eye infections may include redness, itching, swelling, discharge, pain, or problems with vision. Treatment depends on the cause of the infection and may include compresses, eye drops, creams, or antibiotics. Macular degeneration, or age-related macular degeneration, abbreviated AMD, is a leading cause of vision loss in Americans aged 60 and older. This disease causes the destruction of your sharp central vision. Without central vision, you cannot see objects clearly and cannot read or drive. Macular degeneration is a progressive disease that does not hurt, but it causes cells in the macula to die. In some cases, the disease advances so slowly that people do not notice a change in their vision. There are two types of macular degeneration. The dry form causes the slow, gradual deterioration of the macula cells, and there is no known cure for this type. The second type, referred to as the wet type, can be often treated with laser therapy in the early stages. Treatment can slow vision loss but it cannot restore lost vision. Regular comprehensive eye exams can detect AMD before vision loss occurs. Farsightedness and nearsightedness are both considered refractive errors. Remember that your cornea is the clear front part of your eye. It is like a window that controls and focuses the light coming into the eye. If your cornea has an irregular shape, the light does not focus properly. Things look blurry. This causes what is known as a refractive error. Myopia, or nearsightedness, occurs when your vision is clear up close, but blurry in the distance. Hyperopia, or farsightedness, is when you have clear vision in the distance, but blurry close up. Presbyopia is the inability to focus close up as a result of aging. And astigmatism is when you have focus problems caused by the cornea. Treatment for refractive errors includes glasses or contact lenses. Laser eye surgery may also be a possibility. Cancer of the eye is uncommon. It can affect the outer parts of the eye, such as the eyelids, which are made up of muscles, skin, and nerves. If, on the other hand, the cancer starts inside the eyeball, it's called intraocular cancer. The most common intraocular cancers in adults are melanoma and lymphoma. 
the most common eye cancer in children is retinoblastoma, which starts in the cells of the retina. Cancer can also spread to the eye from other parts of the body. Treatment for eye cancer varies by the type and how advanced it is. It may include surgery, radiation therapy, freezing or heat therapy, or laser therapy. Here are some key word parts related to the eyes and vision, along with their meanings. In the third column, you can see some of the medical terms that we can create by combining word parts. You should return to the online medical dictionary to hear the pronunciation and become familiar with the meaning of the created terms. Now let's have some fun playing detective. A 65-year-old female patient returns to her ophthalmologist for an annual checkup. She reports that lately she cannot see objects clearly enough to read or drive, but she can still take her daily walks and participate in her activities by using her side vision. What diagnosis should her physician consider? Did you guess macular degeneration? Macular degeneration, or age-related macular degeneration, is a leading cause of vision loss in adult patients 60 and older. This disease causes the destruction of your sharp central vision. Without central vision, you cannot see objects clearly and cannot read or drive. Macular degeneration is a progressive disease that does not hurt, but it causes cells in the macula to die. In some cases, the disease advances so slowly that people do not notice a change in their vision. There are two types of macular degeneration. The dry form causes the slow, gradual deterioration of the macula cells, and there is no known cure for this type. The second type, referred to as the wet type, can be often treated with laser therapy in the early stages. Treatment can slow vision loss, but it cannot restore lost vision. Regular comprehensive eye exams can detect AMD before vision loss occurs. This concludes ear, nose, throat, eyes, and vision. In summary, you should be able to define, understand, and correctly pronounce medical terms related to the ears, nose, and throat, eyes, and vision. In addition, you should be able to describe common diseases and conditions with an overview of various treatments related to the ears, nose, throat, eyes, and vision.